Hi, Jim Bruffold here from OLI Systems. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a very unusual error that occurs in OLI flow sheet, both versions 10 and versions 11. With a recent update to Windows 10, there seems to be an incompatibility flag set during installation for OLI flow sheet. Now, what this incompatibility flag is, or more properly, a compatibility flag, is to allow old DOS and Windows programs pre-Windows 95 to run in the Windows 95 and later environments. Now, we don't know why this flag is being set, because this program is certainly compatible with version 10 of Windows, uh, has been for years, but in about 1% of the installed cases, this flag is incorrectly set. Uh, we're still investigating it, but we've come up with a way to fix it. So what happens is you run the OLI software, and here, by the way, we're looking at our wiki page uh, for this particular error, and it works fine the first time. When you come back in to run it for a second in, uh, case within the same um, session, for example, here we may have changed a flow rate or a composition, you get this message uh, called an error occurred while running the simulation details. Uh, unspecified runtime error has occurred. What has happened is the incompatibility flag has been set, which tells Windows not to unload certain programs because they were so hard to load the first time. Uh, this allows these really old programs to run. Our program doesn't have this, but it's that flag set. So very important DLLs for the solver are still being held in memory. Every time the calculation completes, those DLLs are supposed to be unloaded and cleared from memory. So we've had a collision of some sort. We can fix that, but the fix is rather complicated. So from our wiki page, we're going to have you go down and download a few files here. We'll go ahead and clean this up here. And you just click the link at the bottom of the, of the wiki page here, and that will automatically start uh, the download. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you that in the downloads folder. Okay, you can see that we have this file here, fixfs.zip. We're going to go ahead and extract two text files that are inside this zip folder. So you can just go ahead and right click and open it or double click it uh, to uh, see the contents. All right, we've uh, opened the zip file. Uh, we can uh, take the version you want or both. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, select both of these files. And I can copy it or drag and drop it uh, to your desktop. Okay, for what I've done here, I've actually taken the uh, the two uh, text files in this, and I've actually put them into the downloads folder. That's where I've decided to uh, copy them. So this is the part that is a little not traditional here. So we're going to go ahead and look at the version we want. It's either for version 10 or version 11 of flow sheet. The file I'm going to modify here is this one called fixfs-v11.bat.txt. Now, it's handy if you go into your uh, file explorer view and turn on file extensions so you can actually see uh, that .txt file. It's really important you do that because we have to get rid of the .txt extension. All right, we're going to select the file fixfs-v11.bat.txt and we're going to go ahead and select right click and then we'll eventually select rename to rename this file okay and now we'll select rename okay and it's important again we'll reiterate you need to have your file extensions turned on because we need to get rid of the .txt so we'll just go ahead and delete this. Press enter. It says we get the message that this might be unstable. Yes, we're going to go ahead and change the name of our file. Haven't changed the contents, just changed the name. All right, next we have to run this file. 
Windows does not allow you to run a batch file directly from File Explorer. That can be very dangerous. We don't know what's in the batch file. However, you can see over in my preview, you can actually edit this file to see that we're not doing anything nefarious here. But we do need to run it from the DOS command. So we're going to go here and we're going to select CMD. That is the uh, command window. And as it comes up, we are going to go over here and select right click again and to select run as administrator. And here we are. So we'll go ahead and run as administrator. You may need IT's help in doing this. You may need them to give you a password or so forth to actually allow you to run as administrator. I have local administrator privilege on this computer, so I can go ahead and do that. Okay, now for some really ancient history. Uh, I need to run some DOS commands. I need to actually find that batch file. Now, it's in my uh, downloads folder, so I'm just going to go up here and back to my uh, file explorer, and I am actually going to copy the path here. I will now go back to the command window, okay, and I'll issue the CD for change directory, and then I will right click out there, automatically uh, puts the path in there. Okay. And now I can issue that command. That command, just to reiterate it, will be fix fs v11. Now I don't have the actual error message on my computer so I'm not going to get exactly the same as you will. But when you press enter, it'll actually go through and do some testing to see if it finds the actual program and see if there was a, the error. Mine will give me no error. Yours should give you an error, and then it'll ask you to uh, try the program again. And it, you can see here that there, the known issue uh, for this fix was not found that means I don't actually have the error you press 